and welcome. I'm Peggy, and I hope that you will find a comfortable chair and stay with me for the next half hour. I'm smiling because the people sitting with me are just a joy, and I, I haven't met them until a few minutes ago, and we just had a wonderful visit already, and thank you for coming and sharing your, your love of the Lord and the life that you're created. And I want to introduce two people here. Uh, Nice Nisi, Nisi Kilgore, and she is an ordained minister yes. already. Yes. Yeah. And you're in school still. Yes, you I am. A, a master's degree you're yes, working on? Master's degree. God bless Imagine. you. That's yeah. wonderful. And her father, who is a little bit proud, I think. Yes, I am. Uh, Jonathan <laughs> Kilgore. And you're a pastor and a musician. Yes. And um, your outreach has already reached out into 17 other nations besides ours. Bless you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank Thanks you for, for having us. And we're going to have some music in a minute. But first of all, I want to, this is uh, Nisi's book, God Is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lesson I learned about God in college. And I wonder if a lot of young people go to college that never think they're going to encounter God. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me about your book and what yeah. happened. I went to college. You know, everyone tells you that college is the best four years of your life, and they tell you about all the highs and how you meet all your lifelong friends, and mm -hmm. um, they never tell you about the down parts of college, about how um, there's stress and there's anxiety and all these different things that happen when you go to college. And so they caught me off guard. And, I, and you're away from home. Yeah, you're away from times. home. You sure. don't have your mom and your dad. And so I was caught off guard a little bit by it, and I was, it was like culture shock for me. Um, and so I went through all these things and I came out on the other side and I was like, okay, God, you know, why? Why did I go through these things? Why did I have to experience them? And I just felt like the Lord was telling me that, you know, I experienced those things and I went through those different things so I could learn who he was. And growing up in a Christian home, my father's a pastor, my mom's a minister as well. You grow up in a Christian home, you hear about God your entire life. But yeah. going through those things, I learned who he was. I learned the nature of God and more than just a name, I learned the nature of who he was. And so that's where the book came from. I didn't want another college student to have to go through those lessons alone or feel like they were the only ones experiencing them. They're they're normal. And on the other side of struggle, you can find purpose and you can call, you can find God on the other side of our I struggles. I love that. On the other side of struggle. Because sometimes we have these things that come into our life that we didn't want or plan on. Yeah. That's right. And when you look back over your life, and you're so young, you haven't done that yet, <laughs> but but then you see the lessons that you learned yeah. out of sometimes a very difficult situation. Yeah. Amen, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So now tell me about yourself. Well, um, I'm a pastor as a, at a Friendship Christian School. That's the place where we work at. In Friendship Christian School. Over in North Georgia. Okay. And so there, um, I, 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 I'm over the fine arts department there, um, over our chapels, over our retreats, and things of that nature. So we have the opportunity to serve students from all over the world. And it's a pleasure to lead some, introduce mm -hmm. Christ to some students that have never heard about Christ. We have students that come to our class yeah. from countries like Vietnam, China, and Korea. Yeah. And sometimes they sit in our classrooms and they never heard of Adam and Eve. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, yeah. so, but we've watched over the last five years as um, been on that campus. We've, yes. um, I've seen over 50 students come to Christ mm -hmm. and we've baptized those students and, and they come to Jesus. And they're, so they are first generation Christians. All so, right. And it's called Friendship Christian, Christian School. School. And yes. where are you located? In North Georgia, right in Swanee, in the Swanee area there in North Georgia. In that's North where, Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that's where we are. And so from there, God is expanding us. We're able to go out to the other countries and, and do musical workshops and things of, of, mm -hmm. of that nature. But at the same time, we're winning people for Christ. Yes. Winning young people, developing leaders for, for, for the kingdom of God. Yeah, because if you don't have leaders, the whole thing will be lost. Yes. You've got to have people to stand up. Yes. And that's what you've done with this book. Mm -hmm. yes. Lesson I learned about God in college. And it's called God Is. Now, is this book available? Yes, you can go to um, Amazon. It's available on Amazon. You can also go to www.rootedanchor.com and order it there as well. Okay. And tell me about it. It's a time of transition. Yes. For anybody. For anyone. I feel... I feel 
stuck in times of transitions, whether it's middle school to high school or high school to college, or for some people it's being single to married, and for other people it's becoming a parent. Transition brings change. It brings, it brings something out of you that you didn't know was there before. It brings struggle. It brings bumpy roads, you know? And so I feel like um, anytime we go through transitions, there's something to be learned in that situation. I think sometimes it just takes taking a step back instead of being overwhelmed with what is happening. Take a step back and say, okay, God, what do you want me to learn in this? Because he is in all things and That's in all beautiful. things we can learn about him. So it's taking a step back and saying, okay, God, I know you're here. I know you're present. I know you haven't left me. So what can I learn about you through this? And how can I become a better Christian, a better person? How can I better um, learn how to serve you through this situation? That's beautiful. I know you're proud of her. I am proud. I'm proud. I, you know, she, when we were in school, she was in my Bible class in high school. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I would teach Bible, and um, we would talk about lessons that they were learned and things that they would encounter when they left campus to go off to college. And that, but to see God do it in her life was, um, that's a praise. I, I was excited about it. I was praising God for what he, what he did in her life because she didn't fall off. The, the word is true. He said, if you plant the seed in the children's heart, they want, they'll come back to it. You know, if you put the word in them. You know, they would come back to that. So she came back and she stood on the word, even though through struggle, through issues, yeah. depression, all of those yeah. things, the word that was planted in her and heart. It's all in this book. <laughs> That's what came up. All to mm -hmm. anyone, but especially to young people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. And you, um, you have an outreach, 17 nations. Yeah. And you, of course, are a musician. Yes, I am. I am. I am. I am. So you the, you weave the music into your whole life of ministry, right? Yes, yes. The music is, a, you know, it's um, it's a language in itself that's spoken all over the world. And that music is a way to win them, pull them in, and, you know, we catch this fish, and then the Word of God cleans them up. You know, so we use the word of God and then we, and we pour into the, to the individuals. But the music is oftentimes a way for us to get into doors um, that we normally couldn't get into. Um, mm -hmm. Oftentimes when students come to us, they can't speak the language. They can't mm -hmm. speak English. Oh. But when they hear that saxophone and I play a song, oh, they oh, I can't they, wait to hear <laughs> it. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we have you. Okay. We pre-recorded some wonderful music. So if they're ready, if the director's ready, why don't we have a treat and hear this music and then go to a break and then we'll come back and visit. Sounds all right? Great. Okay, so if we're ready, let's have some music and and find out just about Jonathan Kilgore. All righty, thank okay? you. Okay. <laughs> 